we are carbon-based life. But life is fragile. Life is fragile. Not as often as it once did, but it still happens. Asteroids come and slam into Earth, completely changing the ecosystem, if only briefly. 65 million years ago, a 10-kilometer asteroid came and slammed into the tip of what is now Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula. Made a 200-kilometer diameter crater. If you were there, you were vaporized. If you're on the other side of the Earth, the trillions of tons of Earth's crust that was thrust into the stratosphere cloaked the Earth, blocked sunlight, took out the base of the food chain. And if you didn't die from the impact, you died because you starved. 70% of all species of life on Earth's surface went extinct at that moment, including the classical dinosaurs that we've come to know and love and respect from afar, like T-Rex. Some animals survived. There was a tree shrew running up and down trees and underfoot, trying to not get eaten by T-Rex. That spawned all the mammals that followed because tree shrews survived that collision. It pried open a whole ecological niche that was not previously available to the tree shrew. They didn't have T-Rex chasing after them, turning them into appetite. And so, one branch of these mammals became primates. One branch of those primates became Homo sapiens. Usually, when an organism dies, it quickly decays and breaks down into small chemical bits that disperse in the environment. The essential atoms of biochemistry, including carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and more, are recycled. These atoms are used over and over again. It's amazing to think that the majority of atoms in your body were once part of trilobites, or dinosaurs, or even those earliest living cells. Those creatures died. Their atoms became part of the soil or the air, and now you eat food and breathe air made of those same atoms. You have just breathed in a nitrogen atom that passed through the right lung of the third iguanodon to the left of the tall cycad tree.